create one of these adorable lantern ornaments with wood flowers. And as you can see, there's two choices. You can leave the inside of the window panes plain, or you could take marker or paint and color them in. So just I wanted you to be able to see both ways of doing it. On this one, I'm actually just using a Sharpie and going right around the triangles and filling in. This would be really pretty with a gold hue marker or paint or a yellow, almost like it's light. Really up to you what you'd like to put on the inside or if you'd like to leave it plain. But you can see how easy that is. You can even go in with a fine tip Sharpie and just get the little corners if you want or a tiny little paintbrush. Then we're going to do the string and bead to hang our ornament. So fold your string in half, loop the loose ends right through the loop and tighten it. And then we are going to slide the wood bead right through the twine. Or the twine's gonna slide right through there. So once you get that done, you're gonna to wanna to create a little knot right on the top of the ornament or right on top of the bead. Then you'll go up a little bit higher and create a knot at the top so that you have room to hang the ornament. Any loose ends that you have, once you've pulled that nice and tight, you'll wanna just trim off with a pair of scissors. Maybe leaving just a little tiny bit on the end. Once you've got this done, then we're going to create florals for the bottom and the top of the lantern, but you could also do another design as well. Maybe you want your greenery and flowers cascading down the side of the ornament, or you just want to do the bottom, or you just want to do the top. A lot of options. You could even use the extra space on the top or the bottom to write a name or a date. With the flower, the main flower at the bottom, the little mini tiny daisy, we're going to want to cut the back off of the flower so that it can be as flat as possible making sure not to cut the string on the flower or it will come apart. Add a generous dab of hot glue right on the back of that flower, and then you're gonna place it right down on the wood where you want it and hold it there for a good 20 seconds or so until that glue truly cures and hardens. And then we're gonna build around that. So the little pieces of snowy cypress or any other greenery that you happen to have we always look about how we can use them as much as possible. So I like to break these ones in half. I sort of find the middle and I just pull real tight, but you could use a pair of scissors as well. Then it's good to cut that little nub off the bottom half. Uh, that's where it attaches to the larger piece of greenery. We really don't need that. It adds a lot of bulk. These are going to look adorable right on the bottom. I like the thickness of the bottom half of that greenery. So I'm going to do the same thing with another piece of the cypress, breaking it in half. And I'm just gonna save those little pieces and most likely use them at the top of the lantern. I like to place things first before I glue them just to make sure everything is going to be really right where I want it. If it doesn't look like it's gonna lay flat, you can pull off little pieces of the greenery. So here I'm just kind of adjusting and seeing what will work best. Once I've got it, we're gonna add some glue to the bottom and to the back side of that piece of greenery and slide it right in under the flower. You need a good amount of glue, but you don't need so much that the glue is oozing out the sides. You could always add more later. Hold it there, let it harden, and do the same thing on the other side. This creates the base of your greenery that we're gonna build from and use with layers of other greenery and other flowers as well. If you have any glue strings, you can pick them away. You can also hit them later with a hair dryer and just sort of melt the little bits of glue. So once that all feels like it's good and in place, we're gonna come on in with another bit of greenery. So I'm using some of this lighter sage greenery and I'm really just breaking it into little pieces. So taking the bigger of the pieces and I'm gonna layer those kind of underneath the cypress. Add a little glue to the back and the end and slide it right in.
With the smaller pieces, you can decide if you want to add them in for some more dimension, if you want to save them to add in later. We do have some flowers that are going to go on the bottom, and so you could choose to add those in next and then keep adding greenery. I like to layer a little bit more of this greenery up towards the top so that it feels a little more complete. But just that little piece, nothing too big. So there's a little space right at the top here and for sure I'm going to want to go back in and add some stuff there later. And you can kind of see what I'm talking about from that angle. So pine cones are probably a great thing to add right in there just because they will fill that spot. So with your pine cone, kind of check out the different spaces they could go, check out the different sizes of your pine cones and see what will fit best where you like it aesthetically and where it will work well to fill any gaps in your design. Generous with your hot glue on there, slide it right in, hold it in place if it looks like it's not going to stay while the glue hardens. And then here I'm just playing around to see where I like the idea of the other pine cones. So lifting up some greenery, putting it kind of like between and under gives the look I really like the best. A little different than my original design. So every time you make these, it'll always come out just a little different depending on how your greenery goes. So I wanna add one more just to sort of keep the symmetry going. On the other side, So once everything is secure on the bottom of your lantern, we are ready to design the top part of your lantern. So the greenery right across the top, and then we'll add your little triad of two flowers and a pine cone in at the top. But again, that's just my initial design. You can have fun creating this to look however you would like. So if you are gonna design the top, I'm gonna to take those two little pieces of cypress that I had before, and we're actually just gonna glue those at the top, almost like a little swag. If your piece doesn't wanna stay flat, see if there's a tiny piece of the greenery you can pull off so that it does. Add your glue to the backside, press it down, and you're gonna to wanna to hold it down because it may not stay right there. If you don't like hot glue on your fingers, you can use a little piece of wire or a piece that you cut off from the greenery to press it down. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Once you get this piece of greenery down, this is the base, and we're gonna to start to work with your flowers. With your little rose, you may notice that it is a little bit too big. If it is, you can actually break off a couple of the petals and make the flower just a little bit smaller. Once you do that, you'll cut the back of the flower off if you need to with your scissors, just like before. And you've got the shape and the size that you want a generous amount of hot glue, and then we're gonna glue it right down. So this one I'm not necessarily gonna glue just straight up. It might be at a little bit of an angle because I'm gonna add another flower in there and a little pine cone and create just a little trio. While that one's being held into place and drying, I'm gonna just get an idea of where I want the other flower, down at the bottom or at the top. And once you've kinda of got the right space, trim if you need it and add that glue, and you'll kind of let both glues meld together and hold everything together right there. Kind of like measure twice, cut once. I like to check the placement twice before I glue, just because it's a real pain if you have to undo that. So you can see I've left a little space right there at the top, which is gonna be a perfect little spot to add another pine cone. Kind of just nestles right in there so before I do that I'm going to add just a few pieces of greenery underneath because I know it'll be harder to add them in afterwards and I'd like just a little bit more peeking out 
So I skipped just a little bit there because I went a little crazy adding more tiny bits of greenery all around before I add that pine cone. And you probably didn't want to watch me do that for two more minutes. So as I finish up adding some more pieces, I'm really just extending it a little, going behind. Hot glue strings are your friend, not. So if you get them, just pull them away. And once you get the shape you want with all of that greenery, then you'll be ready to add that little pine cone in. So here I am finally adding that pine cone. You can add as much greenery as you want at any part of this. I love the greenery, so I definitely add a lot of it. Hold that pine cone in good. Make sure it locks in with the flowers and everything is in there nice and secure. And then you can check it out and see if you have any holes, any gaps. Do you want to add any more greenery? Maybe next we're going to add just a little bit of filler. And you can see I'm being picky and I've still got a couple little spots where I want to hide something right at the bottom of those two flowers. I felt like you could sort of see the mechanics. So I took off just really tiny sprigs from that cypress and from the sage greenery and I glued them sort of like right up against the flowers so they covered the bottom. So if you're going to be that particular kind of look at this from every angle and see where you might want to hide something. So we've got our basic design and now I'm just going to add a little bit of this silver filler in that I have and they come um, as a leaf and I actually pull little pieces off of each leaf and then break those even because I just want a tiny pop of the silver and I'm only going to add the silver at the bottom. I didn't even want to add that at the top. I just liked it down there. So I'm sneaking it in between the leaves and I'm just going to glue them in the little spots where I think it looks cute, adding maybe just four little pieces at the bottom. A tiny dab of glue. There's a lot of greenery for it to hold on to. And you can sort of see that I like to play around with where it's going to be just to make sure that I like the look. So once I glue those last little pieces in, I check it out and I've got this cute little ornament. You can add some essential oils or fragrance oils right to these to add a scent if you want as well. Hope you enjoyed making them. Thank you.